Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me today. I am back again with another layout for the cut shop and for today's layout I'm going to be using the plus infinity background cut file. I do not have a design space tutorial for this video. I use the same technique that I've used in the past two videos where I just uploaded the file, used a square to slice out individual plus signs, and then scattered them around the page to create this random design. I will link to the last two videos in the description below if you'd like to take a look at how that technique works. So now I'm just looking for pattern papers to back the cut file with. The paper that the cut file is cut on is a pattern paper from the Simple Stories Sunshine and Happiness collection. And then I've chosen a black and white pattern paper from the Amy Tangerine Stitched collection to back the cut file. I was having a hard time finding some place to put my photo and my title, so I decided that I'm going to cut the design and I'm gonna cut it in half at a diagonal. I'm still gonna back it with the pattern paper and then place it onto a sheet of white cardstock. That will give me more of a neutral background to place my photo, add some layers, and also a place to put my title. I've been rummaging through old photos and I came across this photo of my son and I absolutely love the expression on his face. This picture was taken in 2010 and it was taken the first time that we went to Disney World and we were at Hollywood Studios and he absolutely loved the Honey I Shrunk the Kids playground. It was his favorite part of all the parks. He called it the tunnel is what he referred to it as because there was this area where it had like a rope bridge and then you ran through a tunnel and then there was a slide that you would go down and he would do it over and over and over and over again. He barely stood still. And I just happened to catch this photo of him. He stood still for probably three seconds, just long enough for me to snap this photo and then he was on his way. As soon as I saw the picture, all those memories came flooding back and I knew I had to scrapbook it right away. I've chosen the title Meet Cute, and that is from the Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine collection. And now I'm backing my photo with multiple layers for my stash. I'm also going to bring in some of those plus signs from the cut file and use those as embellishments on the layout. I scatter quite a few around. Now I'm just kind of playing with placement. So these papers that I'm bringing in to layer under my photo, I believe they are from Amy Tangerine also. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on it. They've just been in my stash for a long time, just kind of mixed in with other papers. I really like the plus signs in that paper. It matches the theme that I have going on in this layout really, really well, but the two teals did not match. So I'm gonna use some vellum just to tone down the teal plus sign paper. So that way it blends in a little bit better with the paper that I use for the cut file. I'm gonna let the vellum overhang the edges a little bit just to give a little bit of interest and texture and dimension to the layout. Once I have the layers arranged, I'm gonna staple them together and then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna tear one side of the vellum. I absolutely love the look of torn vellum. So as I'm looking at this, I realize that I have a lot of teal and a lot of black going on, but I don't really have a whole lot of yellow. So I decide that I'm gonna add some mixed media. I'm prepping the paper with some clear gesso and off camera I had grabbed all of the yellow sprays that I have and on a scrap piece of paper I just misted them on there. I was trying to find the yellow that closely matched the yellow that I had going on in my layout. I end up mixing two colors. I use Heidi Swap Mustard and then I use the No Yokings Colorings from Shimmers and I'm just going to use the packaging technique. I'm going to spray some color onto the packaging. I'm going to mix both colors together and then I also add some water to the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and apply a few different layers just until I get the right consistency and the right amount of color. And I'm bringing in the cut file and my photo layers just to make sure that I'm not going to be covering up too much of the mixed media. So here I'm showing you that I've adhered everything down and I've also added some stitching. I've added a couple more layers behind my photo. I used a couple of the cut apart pieces from the Amy Tangerine Stitched Collection, just kind of tucked in there. I also stapled a clear acetate piece from Heidi Swap. I love how the plus signs look on this page. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're using background cut files. You don't have to necessarily use them as a background piece. You could cut out a bunch of plus signs or a bunch of chevrons and just use them as ephemera pieces on the layout. The options really are unlimited. Okay, so back to the layout, I'm adhering the title down and then I bring in a flare button also, which I believe is from Feed Your Craft. This layout truly is just a bunch of products from my stash. I didn't use any two collections, I just, grabbed a bunch of stuff that looked like would go together well and just started putting it down on paper. So underneath the cute, I have added a Heidi Swap chipboard piece that says hashtag has my heart. And then I also added a fabric heart that is from an Amy Tangerine collection also, but I'm not sure which one it is from. And now I am going to bring in some rub-ons. These rub-ons I have had for years and I wasn't sure if they still were good. I think we've all had those rub-ons that after a while they kind of dry out and they don't transfer onto the paper very well. So I did a test on a scrap piece of paper just to make sure that they were gonna rub onto the layout smoothly. 
And surprisingly, they went on really, really smooth. I was really impressed with how easily they transferred onto the paper. They are from an older basic gray collection. I know I've had them in my stash for at least three years. I bought them at our local archivers before the store closed. So I do add quite a few to the layout just on the top left and the bottom right of the photo. I thought I better use them while they're still good. And it's a real small design and it fits into the design of the layout really, really well. So once that is finished, I'm going to add some black splatters using some black Heidi Swap Color Shine. And there you can see I got a big splatter on that hashtag has my heart chipboard piece. So thankfully a baby wipe does remove almost all of it. You can't even tell by the time that I get finished wiping it off, thankfully. And then I do add some enamel dots and then also some type journaling off camera. Here you can see the close-ups. I will make sure to link to the cut shop in the description below. You're going to want to head over there and check out all the cut files. I am sure you will find something that will inspire you. There are a lot of amazing cut files in the shop. And as always, thank you so much for watching.